Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my settings to print polycarbonate on your CR10. In order to print polycarbonate on your CR10, you're going to have to first do two required upgrades and one optional upgrade. The first required upgrade is you need an all metals hot end. The stock extruder, the PTFE tubing goes straight down to the heater block, which the PTFE tubing cannot handle the temperatures of polycarbonate. So you either need to upgrade with the Micro Swiss all metal hot end, or you just need to get a, a totally different extruder, like an E3D or something. What I'm using is an E3D V6, and it works, it works fine. The second required upgrade you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need an insulated bed. Now there's many different ways on how to do that. I'll leave a link down how a lot of people do it. It's cheap and relatively easy to do so. The insulated bed, what it does is help you maintain those higher temperatures that polycarbonate it requires. It still will take about 10 to 15 minutes to get to the set temperatures that you need, but at least it will be able to maintain it a lot easier. An optional, requirement is having like a, a build tech or what I use is a lock build print surface. This will make sure that your print doesn't come up and warp off the bed. And this is especially helpful if you do not have an enclosure for your CR10 and I'm not I don't use an enclosure. Now I'm gonna briefly go over the key settings on my CR10 and I'll, I'll leave the link down below. You guys can have these settings on um, what I use. And just keep in mind, your machine might be a little bit different than mine, but it's a good start. So for polycarbonate, I found that retraction 3.5 and retraction speed at 30 millimeters per second for an E3D V6 works the best. Now layers is just whatever you want. Now you can use a RAF and you can use supports with polycarbonate, just keep in mind that if you do so, rafts are kind of difficult to get off. I, I haven't really had a problem with supports, but I had problems with rafts. I haven't got keyed in the, the proper settings for rafts, I guess. But they're a little harder to get off than your regular material PLA and ABS. For temperatures, keep in mind it depends on the material that you're using. I'm using Polymaker PC Max and I'll leave a link down below where you can find that. Now I found temp, uh, heated bed 85 degrees Celsius works the best and an extruder at 265 degrees Celsius. Now cooling, this is important. I found, I tried many different uh, prints with different variations of fan speeds and if you have a fan on it and you have no enclosure, you're gonna warp it. So make sure if you do not have an enclosure, turn off your fans. The quality kind of goes down, but you'll still get a, a decent print. Speeds, so here's a good one too. Uh, you want to slow down your print speeds. I, I've slowed down to 45 millimeters per second. I found that's a good, good speed for it. All right, so I think I covered everything. So we're gonna go ahead and print this carabiner out of polycarbonate and I'll do a time lapse and show how it works at the end. All right, let's go ahead and get printing. All right, so the print is done, and I want to take the camera and show you as best as I can that the, none of the edges came up. And I picked this model for a reason, uh, because it has a lot of thin areas on here that would normally warp. But because I'm doing a combination of a really hot heated bed. I keep the room where there's no fans running in the room so no airflow in the room 
and this lock build surface is probably the key to keep the print without a, a, a enclosure. So one thing that needs to happen before we take this off, we have to let the bed completely cool down. The very first polycarbonate print that I did, I ripped it off while it was still hot and I have a forever indentation on there and it, it kind of like took a, a little bit of the lock build out. So I found that if I let the lock build or the print surface cool completely down and I take the print off, then the surface is fine. Let's go ahead and wait for it to cool. All right. So the bed is now cool enough we can take this off. Let's go ahead and do so. Well, that flew. As you can see, I don't know if you could see, but there is nothing really to see. If you let the bed cool off, you don't get any residue on there. All right, so let's get the part. All right, so we have these two parts. As you can see, there it's perfect. No stringing. Uh, you can read the leather lettering real well. The line surface is really nice. Polycarbonate really prints nice once you get those settings dialed in. Let's go ahead and put it together. Everything fits good. And as you can see, it works and it's really strong and a lot of thin areas on here that had no problem with the lock build and my settings. All right, so that's printing polycarbonate without an enclosure on a CR10. Thank you for watching.